Welcome back scientists. It's time to finish up our sky unit. Lesson 13, science sky unit. Where are the stars in the sky? Grab your science notebook. We're gonna do a few pages today. Open your science notebook to page 25. It should look like mine. If you need to, pause the video if you forgot to grab your workbook. Where are the stars in the sky? Phenomenon. You see Orion in one part of the sky. Later that night, it is on the other side of the sky. What do you wonder about this phenomenon? So complete the sentence. I wonder. And then you'll learn, use what you learn to explain this phenomenon. So again, pause the video and finish completing that sentence. I wonder, what do you wonder about the sky and how Orion seems to be in a different area later? I'm gonna start off with a read aloud. This is called How to Catch a Star. It's by Oliver Jeffers. Once there was a boy, and the boy loved stars very much. Every night, the boy watched the stars from his window and wished he had one of his very own. He dreamed how the star might be his friend they would play hide and go seek and take long walks together. The boy decided he would try to catch a star. He thought that getting up early in the morning would be best because then the star would be tired from being up in the sky all night. So the next day he set out at sunrise, but he could not see a star anywhere. He sat down and waited for one to appear. He waited and he waited and ate at lunch and waited. And after dinner, he waited some more. Finally, just before the sun was about to go down, he saw a star. The boy tried to jump up and grab it, but he could not jump high enough. So very carefully, he climbed to the top of the tallest tree he could find, but the star was still way out of reach. He thought he might lasso the star with the life belt from his father's boat, but it was much too heavy for him to carry. He thought he could fly up in his spaceship and just grab the star, but his spaceship had run out of petrol last Tuesday when he flew to the moon. Perhaps he could get a seagull to help him fly up into the sky to reach a star, but the only seagull he could find didn't want to help out at all. The boy thought he would never catch a star. Just then he noticed something floating in the water. It was the prettiest star he had ever seen. Just a baby star. It must have fallen from the sky. He tried to fish the star out with his hands, but he couldn't reach it. Then he waited and walked and watched and waited. And sure enough, the star washed up on the bright golden sand. The boy had caught a star, a star of his very own. Now open your science workbook to page 28. Remember in our last lesson, we learned about constellations? 
and how they were kind of like a dot to dot in the sky. So you're gonna need a white crayon to do this page. Number one, the stars of night. Connect the stars in Leo. So start at number one there towards the top and with your white crayon, connect the dot from one to two, from two to three, from three to four. Now look, where's five? Yep, over there. Go ahead and connect those on your page. Up from eight to nine and nine to 10. There you go, you did it. And bring, there you go, that looks good. All right, find Leo later at night. Connect the stars you can see. Now this time they're not numbered, but use the picture above to help guide you this time. Go ahead and pause this video if you need a little more time. Now, as your homework, you're going to complete your workbook now. So please complete pages 29 and 30 for your homework today. I will read the directions for you. Please complete these pages before stopping your science lesson for today. So number two says, engineering design. Look at the sky. You look at the sky through a telescope. What do you see? Draw a picture in the circle. So in that circle, you're pretending that that's the end of the telescope. What can you see in there as you're looking at the sky? And then I'd like you to go to the next page and show what you know. Answer the question, give two reasons. There's a spot for reason one, and reason two. All right, here's the question. The little boy is saying, I wonder, people have gone to the moon. Why haven't people gone to the stars? Can you take what you've learned in this unit about stars and give two reasons why people have not gone to the stars? Two reasons, one on reason one and another on reason two. When you're done with that, you're done with science and we'll be ready to turn those science workbooks in. You can keep them for a couple more days because you might want them for our review and test day. All right, thank you.